Hi there, Virgos. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we're looking at May 23 through May 29. The good news this week is that Mercury is well and truly moving direct. I told you last week that sometimes Mercury uh, stays, you know, they call it a station, stationary. It doesn't move. It doesn't move forward. It, it just kind of just sits there for a minute and thinks about it. And it, I did say it's probably not a good idea to start anything new until, you know, the middle of next week. So by Wednesday, Thursday, I really feel like, you know, the, the, the ghost of Mercury retrograde in Taurus is past. But remember, we have two more to go this year. We have four Mercury retrogrades. In fact, there's a lot of retrograde planets this year, more than usual. Right now we have Saturn and Mars out of phase. Now Mars is the planet of uh, war, energy and passion and it was out of phase in Sagittarius. However, over the weekend it goes further backwards into Scorpio and that's your third house of communication, siblings and neighbours. It's really important that you you know, keep on with whatever it is you're attempting to do, especially if it's with a sibling or a neighbor. And if it involves you having to do all the hard work, so be it. Because because you do want to get something done. It is important to you. And sometimes, Virgos, when something's really important to you and you're the only one that's really interested in seeing it through, that simply means that you, it's, it's on you to do it. And I just feel that right now you have uh, the Jupiter, the planet of good luck and opportunity in your sign, which is a real rocket boost for you. And I feel that if you are dead set on something happening, you should just go ahead and plan for it and make it happen. Because things don't necessarily happen without a lot of help from you. Now, as well as Mars and Jupiter, the Sun and Venus are in Gemini. And for you, that's going to be your 10th house of career and ambition. And it's a really good place for the Sun and Venus to be. If you're flirting with a co-worker, if there's a bit of, um, you know, flirting going on, it makes for work so much more pleasurable, doesn't it? But it can also lead to someone having to quit, someone getting fired, someone getting written up, a jealousy, drama, gossip, and that is definitely not what you are looking for. So if you have met someone at work and it's a significant enough relationship that you want it to last, you're going to have to start thinking about who's going and when or how you're going to deal with this. But just know that having Venus in your ambition zone makes you the most charming person in the room along with Geminis. And if, you're ever, if you've been thinking about shopping your CV slash resume around, the next four weeks are the time to do so. Have a great week, Virgos. Great speaking to you. And I look forward to speaking to you again next week.